16th one. Find the distance between the parallel lines parallel lines three x plus four y minus three is equal to zero and six x plus eight y minus one is equal to zero. So, this problem is also related to find out the distance between the two parallel lines. Just if you observe in this problem, this is 6 x plus 8 y minus 1 is equal to 0, but here we require to change 6 x and 8 y. How do we get? Multiply this equation both sides with 2 first. We get equation 1 and equation 2. From this find a value, b value, c 1 value, c 2 value, then apply the formula. What is the formula? The distance between parallel lines is mod c 2 minus c 1 by root of a square plus b square. Okay, shall we proceed? Okay, let us do this problem. Given 3 x plus 4 y minus 3 is equal to 0. To make the coefficients as the second equation coefficients, we have to multiply with 2. Multiply both sides with 2. So, this becomes 6 x plus 8 y minus 6 is equal to 0. See equation 1. What is the second equation? Given 6 x plus 8 y minus 1 is equal to 0. Here a for 6, b for 8, c 1 is minus 6, c 2 is minus 1. Formula is very important. I already told you it is applicable for board examination as well as entrance examinations, different MCQs, multiple choice questions to crack the multiple choice questions. Distance between parallel lines is given by modulus of C2 minus C1 by root of A square plus B square. I think you could remember this one. C2 is minus 1 substituted. C2 is also minus 6. So, minus of minus 6 very careful here and root over a square is 6 square plus b square is 8 square. Now, this is modulus of minus 1 plus 6 by 36 plus 64. So, this is 5 divided by root of 100 am I correct? So, 5 by 10, this is 1 by 2 units, this is enough, am I correct? Welcome to the www.sakalavija.com viewers. Already we have completed the few very short answer type questions on straight lines. I think so, 16 problems have been completed, but still yet to be completed more problems also. Better you practice these problems, beside these problems, so you go through your own notices, your lecture notices, better you practice those questions also. The basically, the most of the very short answer questions will appear from conceptual understanding, that means based on simple formula itself only. 
So, after completion of this one, let us concentrate, let us concentrate on short answer type questions. So, short answer type questions, no, you know that 4 marks in the examination. So, now we shall move to the short answer type questions. But straight lines has more weightage, it plays vital role in the board examination, several board examinations, even for MSET or JE means or BITSAT or any engineering entrance examination, even it may be NDA, National Defense Academy examination also. Better my dear students all, even you appear for any type of entrance, entrance examinations, please do watch this video and note down, note down in your notices and please share this video to your friends. Please subscribe to our channel, YouTube channel sakalavijaya.com and please follow our Facebook sakalavijaya.com and subscribe to our website www.sakalavijaya.com. If you have any queries and comments, you can send to our mail address is mytutorpedia at the rate of gmail.com. Okay? Let us go to the short answer type questions. Find the points on the line three x minus four y minus one is equal to zero, which are at a distance of at a distance of five units from the point from the point three comma two. So, this is problem is actually related to the parametric equations. So, you might have recollected the parametric equations. What are the parametric equations? x 1 plus r minus r cos theta comma y 1 plus r minus r sin theta. Theta is the angle of inclination, inclination of a straight line. So, next r is the required distance at a distance that means 5 units here r is equal to 5. So, that means first of all in order to solve this problem first slope of the line we have to find out that is tan theta. After finding tan theta as we know the tan theta rest of the trigonometric ratios easily we can find out sin theta and cos theta can be evaluated this is the first stage. The second stage we know the r value required parametric equations are x 1 plus r minus r cos theta comma y 1 plus r minus r sin theta substituting respective values we get the required points on the line. Okay? So, now here given line given line is 3 x minus 4 y minus is equal to 0. First slope let us find out m is equal to minus 3 by minus 4 3 by 4. We know that m is equal to tan theta. So, tan theta is equal to 3 by 4. Here tan theta is positive. So, you take a triangle this is theta triangle 90 degrees 3 4 this will be 5. Now, you know sin theta. What is sin theta? Opposite side by 5 by 5 and get cos theta. What is cos theta? For theta adjacent side is 4, hypotenuse is 5, 4 by 5. See both the values have been evaluated as we know the tan theta value. Understood now? So, now here r is equal to 5 units. Now, what is our aim, our goal to find out the points on the line? So, required points. 
required points on the line or x1 plus r minus r cos theta comma y1 plus r minus r sin theta is equal to x1 x1 means here 3 comma 2 so x1 is 3 y1 is 2 so that means you can write here also x1 comma y1 is equal to 3 comma 2 from this point we have to find out 3 plus r minus 5 into cos theta cos theta is 4 by 5 y 1 2 plus r minus 5 into sin theta is 3 by 5 5 5 cancel 5 5 cancel 3 plus r minus 4 comma 2 plus r minus 3 so required points are like this 3 plus 4 comma 2 plus 3 or 3 minus 4 comma 2 minus 3. Therefore, this is equal to 7 comma 5 or minus 1 comma minus 1. These are the required points. Okay. Just go through the problem. This is very very important problem. This problem is related to the parametric equations of a line. Parametric equation line means R is a parameter here. Okay, R is a parameter in this case. 